Telling the truth, the shooter was in that building. Not just in the building. The only access to the helipad is through Case Commerce, which means our killer was at the party. Okay, but what was Edmund doing? What was he planning on stealing that weighed so much? And why would he take that stupid clock? It makes no sense. It makes even less sense now. We were running through elevator security footage, and we found one person who went up to the party who wasn't on the guest list. The neighbor kid, Tim Cabot? And look what he's holding. A motorcycle helmet. So he was the one that followed Edmund on the motorcycle that night. Kid's got a record, too. B&E, assault, possession. Hey, but what the hell was he doing there? I think I may have an answer. Remember that class action suit against Sunco funding? Yeah. My contact at the SEC dug these up. Suncove's original articles of incorporation showing the name of the account signatory. Look familiar? James Edmund Smith, the victim. Santa is the shark who built those people out of their homes? He has more blood on his hands than that. Tim Cabot's father died in a car crash, fell asleep at the wheel working three jobs to pay his inflated mortgage, courtesy of Edmund Smith. That was Christmas Eve five years ago. The Christmas that Edmund walked out on his life. So, so it's a tale of redemption. Edmund moves next door to the family whose lives he destroyed, dedicating his life to repairing theirs, never telling them who he really is. But what if Tim found out? Then it's a very different tale.